Hi, my name is Kirill and today I'll share my impressions about 42 and 100 LEGO Technic set. It is the biggest and the most expensive set in LEGO Technic series. So on my table you can see a scale copy of Leap Hair Mining Excavator. The box weighs more than 6 kg and it contains more than 4000 pieces including 7 motors and 2 Control Plus hubs. To play with this big toy we need smart device and 12 AA batteries. I'm glad that LEGO introduced such a huge set in Technic series. It's like exclusive set in Star Wars series and it's really awesome. The set has two thick instruction books and two sheets with stickers. Unfortunately here we can see only two large stickers with Leap Hair logo. Building process is divided into five steps and also we have the package number 6 with round bricks. On the first stage we can find many interesting pieces. Four large sprocket wheels in dark bluish grey color. Large turntable. Four curved gear racks. 736 disc gears. Two yellow connectors like in 42-110 set. Small connectors in yellow color. Wire holders in three colors. 28 frames in light bluish gray. Here you can see new transmission protection. This system delivers very high torque. Large box with electronics. Here you can see two control plus hubs. Four large motors and three extra large motors. These motors are larger than power function motors, but they can work like a servo motor. Here you can see 28 TS gear, like in Harley Davidson motorcycle. This set contains two gears. Here you can see the chassis reducer. It has many gears and it's cool. The chassis is symmetrical. In the center we can see one more reducer to rotate the superstructure. After each building stage we should check the functions via application. Don't forget to update it. Here you can see the complete chassis. On the second stage we meet new extra large actuators. They have 8 start range instead of 5 start range of usual actuators. New actuators have the same holder. Also you can see four large frames in white color. The result of the first instruction book is the box on tracks. I've started to assemble the boom. You can see three motors with reducers. I like that the set contains many gears. The set has red gears, but it has no gear shifters. One more typo in my collection. On step 267 we can see pieces from the future. In the end of the second instruction book we can see different control modes. One touch mode, command sequences and achievements. Achievements help to learn how to control all the functions of this excavator. Also here we can see the photo of the original excavator. The building process is really long. It's impossible to assemble such a huge model in two hours with a cup of tea. Uh, the set contains too many non-technic pieces to my mind. Usually I like system, but here we have too much of it. Let's take a look to the design. It has many cool details. And basically it looks not bad. You can see the leather. I don't know if it's a latch. It doesn't work. You can see many lights, grills. Here we have opening doors. There are many pneumatic hoses here. And they look very strange. I don't like how they ends in the air. It looks like something missed. The bucket is huge and looks really awesome. On the top we have one more cover to access the control hub. 
you can see that the superstructure is empty. It's easy to change batteries in both control hubs. So here you can see the main application screen. We can control tracks left and right in the same or in opposite directions. And also we have two joysticks, each controls two functions and two buttons to open and close the bucket. Right joystick controls the boom and the bucket. Also it can control both functions in the same time. It needs some trainings to control it. The left joystick rotates superstructure and controls the second stage of the boom. Of course, all these controls work at the same time. But it's not too handy. Here we have one more control mode. You can see the screen for one-touch control. It's really awesome mode. It operates with five motors in the same time. It's really cool to walk in this mode. Also, here we can see one more screen. But all the controls are the same as in the main screen. All the functions work very fast for such a big model and I like it. Let's try to dig pins. It's possible. Round bricks are worse, but possible too. It's not so interesting like to play Jenga with this model. So it's really impressive set. It's the next stage in LEGO Technic. 
the set with seven motors, two control hubs, many remote control functions. I hope LEGO will introduce such an ultimate set in LEGO Technic regularly. Uh, watch the video on my main channel how I played Jenga with this excavator. It was very funny. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye!